That spritz was so damn strong. It smelled good though. It did have a good smell to it, but it was like, it became like the black girl's perfume. Baby. And then you, when you put that heat to that spritz, cook. And it goes, Ooh, it had, it had like, like stream beans. <laughs> you were what? Look, I got 27 reasons why we are not bringing this back. This was hideous. The worst thing ever. What is a 27 piece? Alonzo, I need to hear from you. Well, down here, we call it a quick weave. You know what I'm saying? When you quickly weave it in, and some of them be weaving it in too quickly, and they need to quickly take it out, okay? Um, it, it just don't be looking right. I don't see no part. I don't, you know, it's like a, it like a curtain. Like you trying to open the curtain up, trying to see what's going on. That's yeah. exactly what it looks like. Yeah, I open the act. Like, oh, yay. It's a no for me. Like, so apparently it comes in like a bag. It's a bag of hair. They're all really short pieces of hair, right? Little short tracks. You got to glue them down, right? So it's kind of like, you know, like build a bear. It's like build a wig, like real quick. Like you just glue it down. That's what it is. A, a 27 piece for me, what my homegirl used to do them, either you pro, you either gel your hair back or like pro style or some thick grease or thick, or thick gel. You dried it. Some people that cared about their hair put it on a stocking cap. I know some girls who glued it straight onto the gelled hair. Either sometimes your hair was too short to braid underneath. Sometimes, maybe if you didn't have edges, maybe if you didn't have certain, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of reasons why the 27 piece became popular. And you gotta understand too, a lot of these hairstyles originated in a shop. You know what I'm saying? It originated in the hood and it was it was something that became a mainstream thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so when we, when you see it on big artists, it's, it still don't change the process on how it's done. It still don't change the process of what's going on behind the scenes. And so, and this, once again, 27 piece is a lot more, popular then because wigs weren't as big. So weaves were a lot of things that a lot of people did back in 2000. So it was, okay, so now I kind of understand more. So when you would do like a weave, like a sew-in or something, that would take so long. Right. That doing something like this was gonna look better than how the wigs looked back then, because they were right. hit. And so they would, it was kind of like a wig effect, but it was just quicker. Yeah, and, it's, mm -hmm. and it was cost effective. It was any your homegirl could do it, like, and it, and it was something you can you can switch and take on and off, you know, quick. Like a wig. Yeah, and it was, and that's why it was on a stocking cap. So when you put it on a stocking cap, it kind of became a wig. And let me tell you, no quick weave, no twenty-seven piece would ever be possible without that black glue. That black glue, that stink, that turned into like rubber when you go like this. Uh huh. On their lashes. It really was a fool. That black glue used to be everywhere, in every black home, in every hair salon. You could not do a 27 piece without that black glue, that red top. <laughs> Just dabbing it on it like it. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have a bottle in my makeup stuff right now. That's how I put my lashes on. People, there's yeah. this controversy about should we use that on our lashes or not, but I feel like if you remove them properly, you are not gonna go bald. Like some people just are impatient and rip them right off, but I love my black glue. You know what another problem with the 27 piece was? When the 27 piece will start to lift in the back. For everybody who had the short ones and they want to do the little shortcuts, and it starts to, that little ducktail part starts to lift in the back, on the back of your neck. Ooh, yes, honey. Looking like a rooster. Yes. Ooh, and it be on that neck like that. It be looking that like a chicken, like, ba, ba, chicken, so it gave you ba, 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 like they on, on a farm or something. Ba, ba. Monica did them, Ashanti did them, Eve did them, Mary did them. It was so many of the girls back in the day doing these 27. Beyonce did like everybody had a, a 27 piece at one point in their career. Yeah. I really feel like we need to have a conversation with all of them, cause <laughs> I, I, I I don't know. And why was it too that the main like style that they would wear is that little like pickable style where it was like this, like that's, that's, that cannot possibly look natural, like at all. It's looking like me. But the only reason why was because you used to have to lay the tracks in a way to where it looked like a part. So if you didn't let them tracks to where they split like a part, it was really gonna give you some wig vibes. Unless you did what Mary used to do. Mary used to put that 27 piece in the back and then flip the front 
to go back. Like that, like Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett, but she used to do it all around her face. So that's Ooh, she had it curved out. Like that. She had to figure it out. She was ahead of her time with that because I, those parts weren't fooling anybody. That did, that yeah. was not a part. You cannot lie to me and tell me that that looks like a part. <laughs> it looked like the tracks to me, just but with a little space. It served its purpose for the 99 and <laughs> thousand. It was all about the 27 pieces. 27 of them, it wasn't 28, it wasn't 29. It wasn't 19, it wasn't 20. It was 27 pieces. And Lord, don't let that 27 piece start itching. Only way you can get up there is rat to call. Look right here, like this. Oh, and another thing that 27 piece was you couldn't do without was spritz. Spritz in that brown bottle. That spritz. Ooh, that spritz. Ooh, how they have still. Relationships together, baby. That spritz was so damn strong. It but. smelled good, though. It did have a good smell to it, but it was like, it became like the black girl's perfume. I oh, swear, yeah. it's like every girl smelled the same. It didn't matter what, what else you put on. You took a shower, you didn't take a shower. That you spray it. was so overwhelming. Baby, and then you, when you put that heat to that spritz, cook it. And it goes, shh. Ooh, it had, it had like, like string beans. Spritz, pro style, and black weed glue. The three ingredients to a bomb 27 piece. <laughs> <laughs> so I, for one, love this moment of the 90s and 2000s because especially black women look so regal in these moments and these, in this effortless haircut, the pixie cut, Nia Long, you know what I'm saying? like. Gabrielle Union, the, the the pixie cuts, the flips, the natural length hair, like, you know, the yes. boy. Love, 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 love what that era was. And I wish that would return, to tell you For truth. sure, I feel like it was so just effortless. It definitely was elegant because <laughs> some of these styles were a little bit ratchet and we can agree to that. So this, the flip curl and the and the pixie cuts, it was just so bomb. I love, you know who did it best? I love Rihanna in it. I think it just fitted her face. Like, honestly, you kind of had to have the face for this type of style because it was really like a short style. It really just put all the attention on your face. Rihanna had the perfect face for the style. Rihanna ate the pixie cut. That whole era of the good girl gone bad, that whole like Russian roulette era, I love Holly Berry. I love her long, I love her short, but Holly Berry will forever be classic and will always be the staple of the pixie cut, of just this haircut. I love that. But you know who ate it for me? I liked, I like when Janet did short. When Janet went short and she did her little short pixie cut because once again, it's, a, it's the thing that, um, you have to have the face to carry it, you know? I love the flips, the whole flip era. Um, yeah. And I feel like it's it's coming back. Like, as you can see, we're doing it different now. We're doing it with the swoop bang and a little flip. Yeah. We're doing it, you know, we're doing it yeah. so many different ways. So I feel like that style will never go out. And that was one of my all-time favorite trends as well, like the flips. And I love, like, I, I can do a flip. Like, right now, I got a little flip going on right here. In my bank, so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely flip mode. Right. Flip mode, honey. Megan Good was another one. I love. Oh, Megan Good rocked that. Mm -hmm. Look, honestly, Megan, when Megan did it and Gabrielle Union did it, I'm telling you, it just gives the most like fun, flirty vibe. And you notice too, I think the pixie cut and the flip curl style, it really forced people or promoted people wearing their natural hair. Because a lot of them were doing it with their natural hair instead of putting on the wigs and the weaves and all that. And it just, I don't know, it just gave me real effortless vibes, right. like schoolgirl vibes. It, it just never got old. It, it never became a style that just got tiresome. It's, and it really showed a lot of women's beauty. And even today, like it transitioned to today, a lot of these artists today, like one of them being like Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor can literally wear any hairstyle, but when Tiana does her hair in the short pixie cut or like, yes. the little, or the little duck tail she be doing, or, you know, like I just love how yeah. she bodies her outfits with her hair and she can go from the short fade and curls to the pixie cut and the duck tail or, and so I, yes. I'm, 
girls of this generation are, are showing the younger girls and the, the younger people coming up like you can rock your natural hair you can you can do shortcuts everything doesn't have to be super long and i super, love it you know, like sometimes bring it back to the basics i have to say though even though i'm a fan of the pixie cut and the whole hair curl flip thing sometimes the pixie cut style can really be having people look like someone's auntie like you really gotta look like have the looks to pull it off because i don't know especially when they get the wig that's the pixie cut it's just like you're giving real auntie vibes right now when they start doing the two tones in them in them in the pixies in the 27th it all blended into one big mess and you know what? a lot of people don't understand how much maintenance it is for a pixie cut it's, it's more than any other hairstyle because once that hair grow out or your perm grow out, your press grow out, like a shortcut is so much maintenance. Ain't no pixie cut done right if you ain't got no more cells. If you ain't got Ooh, no you got that heat, that direct heat. Cell in that oven. And sometimes the stylists have been a fried you. <laughs> you got to go to a professional experienced stylist that know how to use up our See, Sometimes they'll turn your hair to the white. But then you like, oh, honey. You spin them like this to pull them off. Mm. I, like, Shh. I never did that one time. I burnt the girl hair. I was going to look and I said, Shh. And I'm like, ooh, how you doing, girl? You know, I thought she heard the side. I had to direct, I had to distract her like, ooh, what you doing tonight? Oh. <laughs> yeah, girl. Shh. Girl, I had to do like this for about 30 seconds. Ooh, she turned around like, oh my God, did my hair burn? I'm like, oh, girl, it ain't burn. It's just a little, you know, a little spritz. That's it. You gotta burn me a little bit. You gotta, you gotta use four different curl lines. You gotta use the real small ones to get that back. Mm. And then you gotta use medium ones to curl above that. I used to love sitting and watching hairstylists curl the very, very fine pieces of hair. All and the way to the top. I'd be like this. Ooh. Oh, they be like, oh, that hurt. It's hot. Oh, <laughs> like oh, 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 it's hot. Girl, they be sit down, bend your head. I told you to bend your head down. That's why it's hot. I said, bend your head down. They say, hold your ear down like this. Hold that ear. Like, right. And sometimes Ooh. your fingers are going to get burned. Your ear might be fine, but your fingers are going to come out black. Because, yeah, look, <laughs> if you do the pixie cut, you have to fully be committed because. Sometimes, like, I remember my mama, she had a, got a uh, pixie cut, and then her hair started growing out. It, it, it started making her look like David Ruffin, because it was just so long and uneven. It was, like, long at the top, and it looked short in the back. It like she got struck by lightning. Like, I was like, Mom, you got this twenty, you got this pixie cut for, like, two weeks, and then now you want to grow your hair back out? Okay, I guess. It was really wearing people's scalps out, but I won't trust nobody to do any shortcut. If the, the salon don't smell like hair, if the Marcel's is not plugged in and you ain't got a little rat tooth comb to hit each of them backs. If you ain't got them three things, I don't care what tools is good today. There's nothing like a Marcel on the stove. Here we go. <laughs> you were what?